Hey guys, it's me, your best baking buddy, Joe. Welcome to the first ever baking live stream. We're here and we are going to bake my world renowned, however, I won't say world famous, but hopefully after this stream, bowl to hole chocolate chip cookie. This is good to see everybody in the chat. This is the energy I needed today. This is the energy I wanted. We're set up with the GoPro. I can see what you're saying. We have all our ingredients right here. And basically the best part of these cookies is you need one bowl and you need one hole. Now, which hole you choose is between you and your doctor. However, I'm gonna choose my mouse hole today for this episode. I just baked a test batch. Let's, oh, let's look at the, I have some, I baked a test batch last night just to see if I was still in my groove. This is the outcome. This is kind of what we're looking for here. It's a very basic chocolate chip cookie and the pool is very easy to make, very quick. And then it's also, um, you don't get a lot of dishes dirty. I hate getting dishes dirty. Sometimes I just want sugar. Sometimes you just want sugar. Okay, so let's begin the PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> bowl, bowl to hoe. Ask your doctor if bowl to hoe cookies are right for you. That is a good, good recommendation. Step one, we're gonna preheat the oven and we're gonna mix our ingredients. Now, just so you know, when you're following along, I have, I'm gonna be using a baking scale. Um, if you prefer to measure inaccurately, AKA if you don't have a baking scale, and that's okay. Not everybody has a baking scale. I will convert it to cups. It will not be um, quite as accurate, but w I will convert it to cups for y'all as well. And, oh my God, I've got, I, I convert it into Celsius for those of our friends overseas. <laughs> hey there. Okay. So oven's right here. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna preheat my oven, if you're following along live, to 350 degrees. So I'm gonna push the button. Uh-oh. Oh. Bake, start, it's preheating. Now that is 177 degrees Celsius. Just so you, that's what Google told me. I asked Google before this very stream. I said, um, this is Fahrenheit. 350 degrees Fahrenheit, 177 degrees Celsius. Is there any questions? Now the second thing we're gonna, we're gonna need our sugar and our butter for the first step. Our first ingredients that we're gonna need are a half a cup of melted butter, which is one stick, if you are using uh, unsalted butter, one stick, um, or what is that, 100, 113 grams. That's not gonna weigh properly because the bowl is what we can cancel out the bowl. Let's see if that really is about 113. 112, uh-oh. Our cookies are probably gonna turn out wrong. So the best, the best thing about this though is I'm using a mixing bowl that's also microwave safe. I've been microwaving in this bowl for years and I actually just learned today that it's microwave safe. I didn't actually know for sure if it was microwave safe, but I found out today <laughs> cut, cut, 112, only 112 grams, cut, cut. Martha Stewart would not allow for this, okay, but we allow for a gram or so of difference. So I'm gonna put this whole bowl in the microwave for about 45 seconds. Microwave's right here. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep. Um, I'm gonna set it for a minute and I'm gonna check it here in about 30 seconds or so. So now we just wait. I, for when we're chilling the batter and when it's in the oven, I have some crosswords for us to do. I have some crosswords for us to do. Oh, I have some crosswords. I thought 30 seconds had counted, had, had passed. Y'all, uh, me, me with my chat just makes time fly by. Just makes time fly by. Now, one, one of the uh, reasons this recipe is so fast is because you do melt the butter, okay? Um, a lot of cookie recipes want your cookies to be light and fluffy. We're not necessarily we will have nice fluffy cookies, but we're not gonna get that from creaming together the butter and the sugar in the mixer. We won't be using the mixer. We will instead be melting our, yeah, make sure it's unsalted, unsalted stick of butter, half a cup, which is one stick and or, I don't want this to explode. We don't need that on air. Or 113-ish um, grams. So there we go, lovely melted butter. Mmm, and we're done. Eat up, slops. Yum, 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 there's your dinner. <laughs> okay, now we are going to make sure you reset your baking scale. We're gonna add the sugar. 
Um, and this is the beautiful thing about this recipe is you can, it is really a choose your own adventure. You can use granulated sugar, you can use brown sugar, you can use a mix of it. You can use all granulated sugar with a little molasses if you want. Uh, we need one cup of sugar, which is 198 to 200 grams. You can do like 200. I actually like my cookies a little less sweet and a little less caramelized. So I'm going to do 190. So we just dump it in like that. I mean, I just eat this. This is delicious. This shit's delicious. So, by the way, how's everyone doing today? You know, like any news? Oh, and this is going to make about 24 cookies. Really should have said that at the beginning. But depending on what size you make them, I'm not wanting to go over. I am going to do like 190. I really like, oh, 195. That's okay. I don't do quite two cups. Um, when you're measuring sugar in a cup, it's not really going to matter as much if you have a you don't have to measure it like you do with flour if it's just granulated sugar. I think you should pack it if it's brown sugar. I mostly use a baking scale, but I think you should probably pack it if it's brown sugar. Um, and it's you just scoop it in if it's not. Now, this is my favorite tool that I've ever purchased. This is called a spoon chilla. I got this at Target. It was the cheapest item there. Um, it's not quite a spatula. I hate it when the top of the spatula can disconnect from the rest of the spatula. So this is a one piece. Um, and we're gonna mix this just, just until, that's okay. That's what the apron's for, sis. That's what the apron's for. I was gonna get some leverage and it just, now we have hot butter on our wiener. And that's just a choice that we made today. Cut. We'll fix it in post, don't worry about it. We're gonna mix this until it's kind of smooth. You want it to be a little bit, <laughs> the slop did flop. The, the slop flopped out, it is true. <laughs> no, it's just like you just spill a little hot butter on your crotch sometimes and that's just part of baking, okay? And that's just part of the deal. That's just part of the bargain. We're gonna do this till it's a little smooth. Now, if you do want it to be a little more, um, like at this point, you could add some cinnamon if you wanted. You could add some spices. I know this cabinet looks empty, but it's not. We actually have some uh, grandma's molasses. Sometimes I put a little grandma's molasses in there. We also have some, is this bootstrap molasses? This is the strong shit, I think, is what this is. Organic molasses. Yeah, black strap. Well, I call it boot strap. Uh, this is the strong stuff. Sometimes I put a little bit of that in there too. But not today. Today I just want some fluffy, not quite as caramelized cookies as usual. So I'm going to do this until it's very smooth. And generally, once you get the hang of this and once you get the recipe, you can do it in like 20, 30 minutes. Now, if this doesn't look good, chat... Does this look delicious to you? I mean, I'd invite some friends over right now and say, come get your buttered sugar. This is what I grew up eating for breakfast in the South. It's just some buttered sugar. My, my, I mean, my grandma, she calls to the table over on Sundays when we stay with her. She'd say, you want your buttered sugar? And I'd say, grandma, where's my buttered sugar? Okay, next this step, we need, oh, you need a close up? Oh, they need to know how much sugar. Well, if you are falling behind and stuff, the recipe will be on the YouTube as well, but this is a half a cup melted butter with a cup of sugar, which is 200 grams of sugar. Um, and then you just want to mix that together until it's smooth, okay? Not almost two cups of sugar. This is one cup of sugar. This is one cup. I don't like mine as sweet. My cookie's necessarily as sweet as other people's. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get our egg. Now, there's a lot of questioning out there of the correct way to crack an egg. I prefer to throw it at children, but today I'll just crack it on the counter. Oop. Just like that. Oh. If you want a little crunch, you can leave it, but I choose to take the shells out. There are a lot of wires around me, just calm down. Um, and instead of, like I kind of 
mix it up before mixing it in with the sugar. So the egg, while the egg's still in the middle of the bowl, I kind of give it a good whisk around with my spoonchilla, just like this. And then once the yolk is kind of broken up, then I'll stir the rest of it in with the butter and the sugar. And that's kind of being a binder. Who had a cute binder in middle school? Oh my God, mine had Spice Girls stickers all over. The oven's preheated. I don't want anyone to panic. Do you understand? Nothing's on fire. The oven's just preheated. So now that we've got the, our one egg mixed in, we are going to add the vanilla. This is, we buy uh, the eight floral fluid. I always say floral ounces, uh, which is incorrect. Uh, vanilla extract from Target. Target. Oh, you gotta do this. Now, a lot of, there's some like, the, like, um, What's it called? There's some knockoff vanilla. It's, it's not called knockoff vanilla though. It's like vanilla flavoring, but it's not actually vanilla. So make sure you, oh, you're supposed to put one teaspoon in here. Today I'll measure, I don't usually measure. Well, I don't wanna get my teaspoon dirty. I'm not gonna measure. We're just gonna do approximately a teaspoon of vanilla. That might've been a little more, it might've been a little less. It just doesn't matter. Artificial vanilla, yes, thank you, Annette. Yeah, that oven preheats really fast. And it, my microwave didn't shut off my Wi-Fi. It used to at my um, at my last studio. The microwave would shut off the internet. Okay, so once again, that was one teaspoon, not tablespoon, of vanilla extract. No, <laughs> we haven't put any vodka in this yet. We have not put any vodka in. Yes, and that's got it so far. Well, half cup melted butter, one cup sugar, mix till smooth, chuck in an egg, what you think one teaspoon vanilla, use the real stuff. Yeah, I mean, if you, I don't know, vanilla's vegan, right? Yeah, vanilla's vegan. So I don't really know why you would get the other stuff. I don't know. Well, and it's cheaper though. Vanilla flavoring is cheaper. So you may opt for that. Okay, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the salt and the baking soda. Some recipes have you mix your dry ingredients separate from your wet ingredients. This is one bowl, one whole. We're really just trying to get a sugar rush from some, from some cookies. So before we put in the flour, we're going to mix in the baking soda and the salt into this mixture because I feel like it incorporates it a little better. But we'll see. We'll see. We're going to have time to chat here in just a second, by the way, because we're going to chill these as well, which is an optional step, but we are going to do it today. Okay, so we want to get salt. I am using basic table salt for this step. I think this is the Target brand or the Harris Teeter brand or something. Later, I will be using sea salt kosher salt for an optional step. But for this, um, just a half a teaspoon of regular table salt is great. Sprinkle that in. And baking soda, I keep my baking soda in a Ziploc baggie. Um, I've already taken it out of it, but just so it doesn't absorb any like moisture or scents or anything yeah if you if you did use salted butter you may want to skip this part um but if you used unsalted butter um yeah you're going to want to put in your salt now the baking soda you do want to measure it because if you put too many they can expand and deflate um a lot of people think that putting more baking soda is going to make them rise more but that's not always the case from what i've read and seen from youtube videos so make sure you measure out your half a teaspoon of baking soda by carb if you're in the UK. Half a teaspoon, half a, te half a teaspoon. We're gonna sprinkle that in. And before I put in the flour, we are gonna go ahead and mix those together. So just like that, mix them all into the liquid. And I mean, this is a treat right here. I mean, this is, this is a soup. This is a delicious, and it should be runny um, and smooth. Smooth is what we're looking Not No Mountain Dew, half a teaspoon of salt, and half a teaspoon of baking soda. Yes, Taylor, half of both of those. <laughs> Carburious. Okay, now we're gonna put in the flour. Um, this is just all-purpose flour. I buy King Arthur unbleached all-purpose flour. It seems to be 
here in the baking community and as well as the longboarding community, the preferred flour of choice. Uh, you don't want cr no crunchy flour. You want regular flour. <laughs> And we're going to measure this. Now, this is where it gets interesting because there is no actual set amount of flour you have to put in these cookies. I mean, there is like a range, but okay. You can have anywhere from 160 to 200 grams, basically. If you have 160 grams, the lesser amount, your cookies are going to spread more because there's less flour than there is sugar. Um, they're going to be darker, probably. They're probably going to cook faster. They're going to spread. They're going to be crispier. There's an ant. There's an ant in the baking? Oh, no. There's an ant in your baking soda? Eat around the ants. Something I've learned. Or additional protein as well. I think you can make um, granola out of those ants. Okay? You might make some whip up some granola. Um, <laughs> ask your doctor, though, if eating ants is right for you. Some people are allergic. He's not vegan. Not vegan. I don't know what keto is, so I don't know if it's that. Um, Shelby, no. <laughs> not replacing the chocolate chips with ants. Oh, God. Okay, is everyone ready for the flour? Uh, if, you're, if you do the upper level of flour, which I like to do, you get a thicker cookie. Um, they may take a little longer to bake. They will take a longer to brown. Um but I like them a little bigger. I do like crispy cookies, so sometimes I'll make it crispy, sometimes I'll make it big. It just depends. And for those of you using measuring cups, you need to be measuring your flour by scooping it out and putting it in the cup. Like, you can't just scoop out flour. You need to use a spoon, put it in the measuring cup, so that that's the official way of measuring flour, so that it's all a little bit more equal to everybody. Crispy. Crispy and big. Those are your two. You could have a medium cookie. Um, and so for, for those of you using cups, that is uh, one and a third to one and two third cups. One cup of flour equals 120 grams, roughly. Um, so look, y'all are learning today. Y'all are learning gram conversions. I don't, you know what? It would be, I gotta start selling these. I gotta start selling some piggy aprons. This is a one of a kind though. This is Justin's mom made this for me. I love this. It's, it's already served me well today. We got hot butter on us. I spill some hot butter. I also some lacy ruffles on it. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, okay, so just to reiterate that, 160 to 200 grams of flour Less for crispy, more for bigger, fluffier. Um, and that is one and a third. The lights just flashed. This might turn into a ghost hunting video. One and a third to one and two thirds cups. Once again, one and a third would be crispier. One and two thirds would be um, bigger cookies. Yes, thank you for thank you for the reiteration of that. Thank you, Annette. I appreciate you typing all this out. So I've reset my scale. I'm gonna do 200 grams of flour. I don't know. The light just started, and I use my hands. I know. Um, the light just started flashing, y'all. It was flashing like when someone clicks it in the Hue app. So 150, 167, 180. I'm put a little bit too much. Put a pinch of that back. 197. We'll stop at 197. And we'll wipe that off. And we are just going to mix that. Just mix it in. Okay, you don't need to really worry about folding it or whatever. This bowl is technically a little too small for this situation. But I just love having a bowl that goes in the microwave. That's what truly makes this one bowl one whole. Baking show turns haunted, not clickbait. <laughs> Oh my God. Can you imagine me doing like a crossover with like ghost hunters, a crossover episode and like I'm baking in the, in the haunted, like rundown asylum or whatever. They always go to asylums and I'm baking it or prisons. And then I get scared by a ghost, but instead the ghost joins me and starts baking with me. Not Camille from the Nancy Drew series. 
So we're gonna mix that in. Mine is gonna be clumpier because I put in more flour. These aren't gonna be the most delicious cookies you've ever had, but they are going to be the sugar that you needed today, here on this day. Okay, do you understand? Um, all right, so that's just about all mixed in. Get all that flour. So mine is like kind of a paste, as you can see. Mine is gonna be thicker. And we are gonna chill it very briefly as well. So you can see it kind of smooths in. It looks a little more yellow on the screen than it does in the bowl. It looks more dough colored. I did not, I used regular granulated white sugar in mine. Um, mine might be wetter than yours if you are measuring with an actual cup. Cups are really meant for liquid measurements, not dry measurements. So it is always going to be kind of a risk when you are using a cup. But mine really isn't that much liquid. Um, it's, I could roll it with my hands right now if I needed to, but I will not. All right, and the last part is the chocolate chips. Now, there is a difference between all the chocolate chips in the store. I don't know who needs to hear this, but the store brand chocolate chips are probably mostly sugar and not very much chocolate. There's an Epicurious video. You can search for it. It's like Epicurious um, chocolate test, taste tester or whatever. And she tastes um, all the chocolate, the chocolate chips from like store brand to like, uh, co cost a little bit more. Um, and um, I have found that my favorite are the Ghirardelli, hashtag not sponsored, the Ghirardelli premium baking semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can hear that sweet ASMR comes in a super crinkly bag. Um, I just really like these, but you can use milk chocolate chips. You can use dark chocolate chips. You can use chocolate chunks. Yes, you can chop up your own chocolate. This is not an ad I wish I were getting paid by King Arthur or, Gir or Ghirardelli, please. Um, I picked these up from the corner store the other day. I picked up two packages. I love them so much. Sometimes they run out, so I always make sure to stock up for these cookies. Um, and with these, you can use anywhere from a cup, a half a cup to a cup. So depending on how many chocolate chips you want, you can't use ants. I'm sorry, sorry Shelby. <laughs> I, ants are the lower budget option, I guess, for chocolate chip cookies. But you should definitely ask your doctor if ants are right for you. Um, this is my all clad half cup part of the set in this drawer. I really love these. I absolutely really love these baking cups. Um, and I'm only going to use a half a cup. I don't like, the most I would probably use is three fourths. I guess you can put in a full cup, but I prefer to do a half a cup of chocolate chips. So I'm going to fill that up halfway or the full way. This is a half cup. Sprinkle that in and we're just going to fold in these chocolate chips. And you can see it's already kind of getting harder. All of the liquid's kind of getting soaked up in the flour. I guess I'm not a I, I'm not a scientist. You should ask a scientist how these chocolate chip cookies work if that's what you're really into. Okay, and there you have. Folks, are we um Yeah, cups are well, I did say cups are for liquid. But chocolate chips are the same size. Usually, these are standard size chocolate chips. I guess I could have weighed that for you if I wanted to. I probably should have. I do use cups for chocolate chips. Unless the recipe does have like grams in it. And then I'll go ahead and use, um, that's usually when you're like chopping it up. But if they're just chips, then I do measure it with cups usually. It's just kind of, st well, and especially in a recipe like this, if you go over or under with your chocolate chips, it's really not going to matter. Just kind of like with the flour. So you do you. Fake baker. Oh my God, exposed. Haunted baker exposed on stream as fake. All right, this is what your dough looks like. Now, time for the second part of the bake. Okay, so this is, I guess you could really start preheating your oven now if your oven, which mine clearly doesn't need to be on this long, is getting hot in here. So take off all your clothes. Um, 
you could start it during the chilling process. So let's bring up step number two, which is chill in fridge approximately 20 minutes. When I say that, you actually don't have to chill these cookies. You could put these, roll these straight into balls and put them straight into the oven, which I have done many times when I have wanted them fast. You can chill them 20 minutes. You can chill them 24 hours. Um, I'm gonna stick them in for about 20 minutes and then we can have a chat. I can answer any questions you have. Okay, so I'm gonna take, pop off the lavalier mic. Hi there, ho there. And I'm gonna stick these in the fridge really quickly. Be right back. <laughs> Are you still here? I was hoping you'd left. Get out of my house. <laughs> and I will put, please chill for 20 minutes. I will say, set a timer for 20 minutes. And there we go, we have 20 minutes. We have 20 minutes of baking or 20 minutes of chilling before we start baking them. Now for the next step, you may or may not need, um, if you want to make them, make people think that these are fancy. That was the chair that wasn't me. I didn't fart on camera. Um, uh, this is kosher sea salt. You can sprinkle some on the top before uh, you bake them. If you want people uh, to think you're really fancy. But we'll get to that step in a minute. Have there been any questions? Done <laughs> for 20 minutes of ghost hunting. I don't, I don't know what that was. That was the chair. That was the chair squeaking. Here, I'll pick this up so I can... Um, it, well, I'll start. I'll say thank you to some folks. This is a Google Chromebook that I use for um, being gay on the internet. Kenny Noir, thank you so much for the bits. Taylor, thank you so much as well. Set up with bowls and holes. I hope y'all are enjoying following along. I hope you're going okay. Um, Steffi, great to see you. Steffi suffers 11 months. I appreciate that. Keep those skiz, skiz, skiz going in the chat. <laughs> Kelly Zulis, thank you so much for the bits. Great to see you. Hey, hope you're having a good Friday. Um, oh, Taylor, I'm sorry. I think Annette repeated how many cups of sugar. Thank you for the bits though. Um, I'll try to pay attention to see if y'all are um, asking actual questions about the cookies as well. Thank you so much for the bits. Notorious BFO, does molasses make the cookies dense or is it still light? Okay, that's a good question. These are by design, not gonna be like the fluffiest cookies you've ever had. Simply. Because we did melt the butter, we did not cream it in. We did not add air in with it. Um, the molasses, I guess it, I don't really notice a texture difference when I add it because it's just kind of like making it brown sugar. Molasses plus granulated sugar is just gonna be like brown sugar. So I don't know, you can test it out though. Test it out, let me know what you think if you think the molasses makes it denser. I haven't personally noticed. But the last few batches, I haven't been using it. I've just been using granulated sugar because that's kind of how I like them recently. Um, oh, eating cookies at work. That sounds fun. <laughs> who's bowl, who's whole? That's up to you. And that's a secret I'll never tell. <laughs> uh, bird crime. I know. Oh, yeah, I read this one. That, that oven really does preheat really fast, even though it is really old. And I will say, this is not a, um, it doesn't have a fan in the back of it. It's not a convection oven that was called when the fans in the back of it. Um, our last one was, we lived in three different places last year. One of them had our convection oven and two of them didn't. And I've had to adjust the timings on baking every time. So we'll get to that though later. Um, and I'll tell you all about that. Thank you so much for the bids. Caddy Noir, you too. The chat has even used to this. <laughs> That's true. I do assume a lot from the chat. I assume y'all have a bowl in holes. That's true. That oven does. That oven heats up fast. Um, Lizard, 33 months. Great to see you. Thank you so much. Keep those skiz, skiz, skiz going in the chat. Uh, Caddy Noir. 
that Gus helps you massage the dough. I would love that. I would love a, an assistant in the kitchen. Y'all, and I bake a lot, but I'm not really a good baker. I, I would consider myself, so I, I talk about Epicurious a lot because I enjoy their programs on YouTube. I would consider myself like a level two on Epicurious. They usually have level one, two, and three bakers. I would consider myself level two. I just kind of make things that I like and that most of them usually turn out good, but I would not consider myself, you know, expert. Oh my God, is the lo-fi not even playing? Oh no, it's playing. It was switching. I was like, are you kidding me? That there's no lo-fi? Oh, we should do this. We should do that and put it on. Okay. Just want to make sure there was fucking lo-fi. Jeez. <laughs> I need y'all to chill with, cause I need the lo-fi. It keeps the chat chill. Uh, Masari, thank you so much. Parchment in the cookie sheet. I'll get to that in just, I'll, well, I, I'll answer that right now. Well, ants, not quite the organic alternative chocolate chips. I think ants probably have less sugar and less chocolate. Um, but you know, there might be the protein alternative. Um, I use Silpats. You can see right here. We will be baking on, I think these are half cookie sheets. I have two of them and these are silicone mats that are like interwoven with this stuff. You can get these on Amazon pretty cheap and I've used them for like three years. You just wipe them clean. They're amazing. I love these things. Um, what brand is this? The Kit, Kitzini? Kitzini maybe? I got them on Amazon a while back. Thank you so much for the bits. And Casey, love the backsplash. Thank you so much. I even turned, um, these are Philips Hue bulbs, a Philips Hue light strip. I turned them purple because I'm it's usually purple in my background in the room. So I wanted purple. I want purple. Um, thank you so much for the bits. And Caddy Noir is your lo fi locally sourced. It is not. However, that egg that I used earlier was pasture raised chickens. Uh, I recently saw a thing on eggs that was like, um, <laughs> I can't I start over. I will do the recipe. I will read through the recipe again. Um, I saw a thing that said cage free isn't necessarily good. Pasture raised are the ones that are the healthiest. So I, um, I said, Justin, I said, husband, we are going to have to get pasture raised. And so we got pasture raised. Purple vibes, it's true. Thank you so much for the bits as well. I appreciate that. Um, y'all have been great. Y'all have any other uh, questions? My roommate, yes. Grandma's my roommate. Grandma, he's my roommate. Just <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> gay? Oh, was that the video on TikTok that I saw? I thought, I knew it was either a baking video on YouTube or a TikTok. Must have been a TikTok. You learn a lot from TikTok these days. This is TikTok. Let's see. You can also tweet questions at me too. I have the Twitter thing up, I guess. The Twitter app. I'm drinking out of my TikTok mug. Um, those were brown eggs. That The one that I used, I don't think it, I don't know what, I don't know that the color of the eggs matters. All I know is that most of the pasture raised ones I've gotten have been brown. But I don't know, I don't, I don't know much about that. Can you just oil the pan? I would say, don't oil the pan. <laughs> don't put oil on the pan. You will fry the bottom of the cookies. <laughs> the bottoms of the cookies will get crispy and they will fry. Unless you're into that, but the bottom will probably bake a lot faster than the top. Um, if you don't have a baking sheet, you can use parchment paper, baking, or baking paper. Um, if you don't have that, I would probably just put them straight on the pan. I don't know. Um, oh, white eyes are, eggs are dyed usually, or are they bleached? Yeah, dust it with flour. Good idea, Nico. Yeah, I would dust it with flour, not use oil, if that's your, if those are your options. Um, where should you have your rack in the oven? It, I bake two trays at a time sometimes. I have one that's in the middle and one that's the rung right above that one. 
and then halfway through the bake I switch them. So the one that's on the bottom I move to the top. Today I will probably bake them separately and I will bake them in the middle of the rack, in the middle of the oven, the middle rack. <laughs> Dust it with oil. Yeah, not wax paper, the wax will melt. You want um, baking paper. So yes. Um, baking powder is not the same thing as baking soda. We probably should have got that out of the way earlier, but here we are now. If you used baking powder instead of baking soda, I don't know what's going to happen to your cookies. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen to your cookies. Switching the racks. Yeah, that is kind of... Uh, what we in the penny boarding industry will call a kick flip, a double flip, but us in the baking industry just call it switching it up, switching the pans. <laughs> My manager. <laughs> I think they would still rise because there's a ratio of like how much baking powder you can substitute for baking soda, but I don't, I don't mess with that. <laughs> the ants have started screaming. Can we check in on Shelby? Shelby, how are the ants in your kitchen? How are the ants? Do you know the best type of ants to bake with? Oh, I got a little bit of um, flour on my mouth. That's something that's happened today. Oh no, not bad. What flavored chicken are these cookies? Yeah, they may not taste the same. Uh, I think baking agents can make it bitter, too, if you use too much or too wrong kind. Uh, soda you drink while I'm baking? Say I'm drinking iced water, because I thought it would probably get a little bit warm in this kitchen. Uh, I enjoy sparkling cranberry juice. Um, <laughs> oh no, not calling the exterminator! Oh, Shelby, I'm sorry! That is such an awful Friday. So does anybody have any plans this weekend? Oh, don't forget to rehydrate your contact lenses, your eyes, if you need to. And, um, what's my favorite flavor in the world? I would do, I think my favorite flavor is toasted Cheez-Its. Toasted Cheez-Its or, oh, Peppermint. Peppermint, spearmint. Those are my favorites. Peppermint and spearmint, hands down. When am I playing Resident Evil 8? I don't know. I'm going to have to get some drama mean because um, it has made me motion sick every time I've tried to play it. So I'll, I'll try it again one of these days. Maybe we'll try it next week. Oh, sour apple. Sour apple would be good. Uh, Sophia sucks. Thank you so much for the five months. I appreciate that. Keep those skus 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 going in the chat. You are, of course, what dreams are made of. I appreciate that. <laughs> when I get LASIK, I'll play Resident Evil 8. That's true. There was a what? A camera wobble toggle? On mine? Oh, are we talking to someone else? Oh, oh, we're talking about Resident Evil 8. I did. I, I even downloaded a mod that expands the field of view, which is supposed to reduce motion sickness. I um, turned off camera wobble and I turned off the like camera distortion. Uh, so I have done all of the, I did all of the settings that you're supposed to do to make it not motion sick. I haven't thought about which Nancy Drew I'll play next, but it'll probably, I'm after that Danger by Design trailer where they go to Paris, I was thinking about doing that one. I've heard it's not very good, but that's okay. Neither are my videos, so. No, no, Paul Hollywood is not here. He's not here. Um, what else do I have in this notebook? <laughs> Nothing? <laughs> Nothing? 
I, usually I keep recipes on the fridge, the side of the fridge right there. I have one for my favorite sourdough bread recipe. Um, and that's it. That's it. The rest is still unwritten. I hope y'all can't hear my burps because the mic is right there. To do the one in the theater. Okay, I, I'm sure I'll eventually get to it because I'll probably I'll probably do every single Nancy Drew game ever. I'll probably do them all, but I'll look up I'll look up the theater one for sure. Oh, just sugar ants. One time, if we're telling ant stories, one time I went on this like trip to Louisiana, and we were staying in this old hunting lodge. This is like quite literally the setup for like a murder. A murder movie, by the way. Stayed at this old hunting lodge. I had brought some snacks in my duffel bag. I put my duffel bag by the window and then I went to go sit in the living room for a while. Go back to my duffel bag. The entire duffel bag is filled with ants. Every single bit is filled with ants. This hunting lodge, okay, first of all, it was two hunting lodges that connected with a little bridge. There was a creek beside it or a, a pond, the entire pond was full of alligators. The entire pond was full of alligators. I slept in the other cabin. So after dark, we would have to walk to the other cabin between, by the pond that was filled with alligators. Yeah, so uh, we would, uh, we would kind of, someone would have to watch to make sure we got there okay, and then we would like shine our flashlights. Didn't get eaten by alligator. That was the signal. Still alive. And it hadn't been cleaned, and you like open up the beds, and they, the beds were just dust. It had looked like a body had disintegrated in there. There were dead animals all over the walls, because it was a hunting lodge. It was terrifying. It was actually terrifying. Oh, Justin likes to put black pepper in a lot of things, like actual peppercorn with the with the pepper. This is the motion for the pepper thing, by the way. <laughs> well, yeah, I just have so much to talk about. We can do crossword puzzles too if you want. I downloaded this app that was called Crossword. Crossword Daily, Crossword Puzzles Daily. Okay, um, five letters word for your chat. Oh, a flops. Does that fit? <laughs> <laughs> How much is left on the timer? Three minutes. We've only got three minutes, actually. Oh my gosh, time flies when you're having fun telling stories. That is five letters. Just had to make sure. Five letters. Five, five, yeah, that's five letters. Let's check our emails. Oh, love getting emails. I hate getting emails. I had to do the math for that joke. Follow the crowd. This one, some of these are themed. This one is themed in the pink. Um, oh, this is gonna be hard. I picked an easy, it was said it was easy. Galaxy Quest or Casino Royale. And the whole theme of the puzzle is in the pink. See, we don't know that. Trash bound articles. Viscera? Blood? One, two, three, four. Five letters. <laughs> no! You're all done. Galaxy Quest. Let's see what this one is. See, I like doing crosswords on the iPad in, on Sunday mornings, but I have to do the easy ones. Make, makes furrows in fields. Hedgehog? It's only five letters. Oh! I don't know, that's not pink. Slugs are pink. Well, we tried. One minute, 30 seconds. What do y'all want to talk about? Oh. Moles, probably moles. It was five letters. Oh, shrew. It could be shrew too. 
Moles do have those pink nut gopher. One, two, three, four, five. That's six, so. We're not going to be too, our brain's not going to be too wrinkled today. We can play what's in your cabinet. Ooh, wheat checks. <laughs> Baking with wheat checks. <laughs> no high fructose corn syrup. What? <laughs> Oh, could be Vols. Sun made California golden raisins. Did somebody say healthy snacks? Uh, I'll have healthy snacks for a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aqua, we're almost done. We have like 30 seconds left. Oh, I was, that was this thing. <laughs> Not the over, I don't eat these. Justin eats these. I think these, I think they taste like cardboard. Checks are not for me. I need something with sugar. Okay, let's go get them out. 15, oh, we should have clean, cleared off. <sighs> clear off your, oh, we have nine seconds. Let's clear this all away so we can put the baking sheets over here. I'll just, uh. <laughs> Okay, let's get out of the fridge. Okay. I'm just, oh, well, I'll put this down right here. <laughs> oh, yummy, delicious. Don't eat, don't eat raw flour. Don't eat raw flour. You're not supposed to eat raw flour. That's why I don't like cookie dough. Did Joe off screen noises? <laughs> Okay, clip that back on. I'll do one tray at a time. We'll bring a tray over here. I'll show you the consistency. So it's been 20 minutes. So it's time to change this. Step, this is the final step. Roll and bake. 420. I don't know what that means. You forgot we were cooling. Oh, you just thought we were having a chat. You should clip your mic back on. Everybody clip your mics back on. So it's hardened, as you can see. This is hardened. Just a little bit. I just we just want it to be a little bit easier to work with our hands. And what we're going to do okay, is we're gonna just roll it into but if you have a cookie scoop, that's fine, but I don't like washing things. We're just gonna make them about this size. It doesn't really matter. You should be able to get about 24 out of them. So I have big hands. I have big hands. So yours might look a little differently in your hands. I've got big hands. You know what they say about big hands. You got buy big gloves. So we're just rolling them up and we're putting them. I If I make a bigger one, I usually put the bigger ones on the outside because the I know my oven and a lot of ovens, the outside gets a little bit hotter than the inside. Inside ones usually bake faster. So we'll just uh, lube them up. Lube up these boulder holes with our hands. That's a, probably gonna be a middle one. I could probably weigh these too if y'all, I already put the scale over there though and it'll make me cry if I have to go get it. So I'm not gonna get the scale. We're gonna keep this as drama free as possible. Just whatever size is right for you. It will, it will change your baking time a bit. But that's okay. It's all about the journey, if you really think about it. It's about the journey. It's about being together. It's about to get big hands, more room to hold clues. That's true, too, and Nancy Drew. Um, Kenny Noir. Some goat's milk? Not the fish and milk. I don't know what fish and goat's milk will do to you. Or a dog, for that matter. Thank you so much for the bits. Uh, and Peach Heart, thank you so much. We got a brand new sub. I appreciate that so much. Great to see you. Keep those skus 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 going in the chat. You are what dreams are made of. I gotta say, this is going a lot smoother than I anticipated. I did a practice run last night. So I, by the end of this, we're gonna have 48 cookies. We did eat some of them last night, but I will have had 48 cookies this weekend. So that's your... That's one tray. I put 12 on a tray. This is a half size tray. You may have bigger trays. You may have smaller trays. You need to space them. What's that? An inch and a half, an inch, it's two inches, inch and a half to two inches. That's what we'll call it. 
Okay. Um, so I'll bake the first batch here. You should be able to get another tray out of them. Oh, I haven't seen any of the Drag Race UK ones. I have not. I've been told I need to watch. Is season two the better one? That's the one I've been told to watch. Now this, yeah, 12 per half tray, approximately, we'll say. I like to have them spaced about like this. You know, you've seen cookies spaced before. Um, you could freeze them, save them for, put them in the fridge, save them for later. This is where I like to use the kosher salt, uh, the chunky salt, as we call it in the industry in the salt industry. Um, this is 100% natural, coarse kosher sea salt. You can coarse salt, kosher salt, whatever. I just pour a little bit in my hands. Love this stuff. We just eat this right out of the box. And I sprinkle it on the tops. So this is just gonna add that little crunch. It's gonna people th make people think you're a professional. And I like a little salty, a little salty kick with the sweetness. You can put it on and then pat it in a little bit. It'll roll all over the mats. That's fine. You'll have a little bit of cooked salt when you're done. Makes it a little crispy crisp on top. Not much though too. I'm just doing like the tiniest pinch of this. This is a tiny little pinch of salt and I'm putting maybe a dozen, dozen and a half granules on it. Maybe not even that. So we're just kind of patting some on the top. I'll go ahead and put this batch in. Now, baking time. Burnt salt is good. It really is so. Baking, so I'm gonna save this salt for the next batch. Put that right there. We don't waste salt in this family. Oh, did you see my nails? I don't do anything to my nails. They're just naturally beautiful. <laughs> okay, baking time, friends. <laughs> not five hours on broil. I did not miss one. They all have salt on them. Are you trying to make me look? Are you trying to make me suspicious? Because there's salt on all of them. That one might need a little bit more, but there's salt on it. Stop making me suspicious. I mean, you're making me suspicious. Um, now, it's on the towel, it's fine. It's right here, I can pick it up. Now what you do is, um, it's gonna be 10 to 15-ish minutes, depending on your oven. Ovens run hot, ovens run cold. There's not always, there's definitely not really distributed heat well enough in an oven. Not distributed correctly. Um, hey Ashley, how's it going? Hope your lunch is going well. Um, I usually bake two trays at a time. I'll put one on the upper, one on the lower, and then halfway through I'll switch them. This oven, I am still figuring out. We've only lived here like six months. Mine, these will probably take... 14 minutes. I'm gonna guess we're gonna put them in there for 10 and then start checking them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these ones in. Use gloves if you need them. Well, use gloves for sure to take them out. Don't burn yourself. Um, oh, let's we'll set the timer. We'll say, set a timer for 10 minutes. You say, thank you, Google. Thank you. Set that over there. And while those are going, I'll go ahead and make the second tray. Like I said, I'm not baking them separately today. We're just, we're... Did y'all hear that? That thing was talking to me. That thing thought I was talking to it. Suspicious. <laughs> it, but it really does, it, it really does uh, depend. If you want these to look really beautiful too, this is what they do on food blogs. They will roll the cookies without the chocolate, without, or they'll put extra chocolate chips on top, like pointing up so that they melt with um, good chocolate, beautiful looking chocolate chips. I don't really care if my chocolate chips are inside or outside. People just want to take really nice pictures for their blogs. I do not necessarily care, so I'm just rolling them however I want. It looks like I might get, sometimes I get a little less than 24 if I make them too big, but we'll see what happens here. <laughs> intruder. I unplugged the kitchen Google Home before this so that nothing would talk to me, but little did I know, Google followed me in here on my Google Chromebook. 
Who knew that my Google Chromebook had Google on it? <laughs> you only got 16 cookies. Okay, so yours might take longer to bake. Definitely. I do probably make them a little smaller than most people make chocolate chip cookies, but it's because I like to, I like to, I like to have a lot. I know that it's the same amount of dough no matter what, but I like to have a lot. It just makes me feel like I have a lot. Not play digital dream. Y'all, I got my first ever, like, um, I got an iPad Air to do some drawing streams on. Make them small, then he's 17, exactly. Um, to do some drawing streams. We had a, a discount thingy, and so I used it, and I wanna do some like procreate learning, do some art streams as well. So it looks like I am gonna get about 24, and then I'm gonna have some extra chocolate chips left over. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Who would, it's like the nicest thing I've ever owned too. Like I've never had, all of my iPads and stuff have been hand-me-downs from Justin. And it's the first like new piece of technology I've ever like owned myself. And I was really like excited. We did a trade-in and then we had some points too. So I was very excited. It's the nicest thing I've ever owned. <laughs> okay, put that bowl down. I need to, I'll wipe my hands. I'll wash them here in a second. Oh yeah, tag your cookies, bowl the hole when you at me. You know, we won't, I'm, I don't think we'll get a, we'll get a hashtag going on Google and on Twitter, unfortunately. I'm not sure there'll be enough people posting them from, from my chat, but yeah, I would love to see them. Don't, I'm gonna wash my hands, don't worry. I'm putting the salt on first because my hands are gonna get dirty again. Don't lick your fingers. It's raw flour, it's raw egg. That's not good for you. I always like to have several cloths around me. I even have some wet wipes too. Don't worry, I will be washing my hands. I haven't even touched piggy since I've been doing this, okay? My hands are clean. If you don't have like a hair, if you have a long haired pet and you don't find like a hair or two in your cookies, even when that pet wasn't in anywhere near when you were making them, I just don't know if you ha really have a long haired pet. No, you have eaten so much of this dough. Oh, yeah. How many of y'all following along? Y'all having fun? Are we having fun today? What time is it? Oh, it's the, excuse me. Once you get the hang of these, you can whip these up like that. If you find out you got company coming over or if you just need a sugar rush, you just wham, bam, boom, whip these up. People are going to think you are master chef. Okay. Oh, putting your batter together now? That's awesome! Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands real quick. The sink's just over there, but I'm gonna unclip this. Just <laughs> washing your hands, you sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you, etc. All the birthday songs, and we're gonna dry them. Oops. Put some on the out electrical outlet. We're not gonna worry about that too much. Let's start an electrical fire. <laughs> and we're back. Oh, hey, you're supposed to sing happy birthday twice? Uh-oh. Oh no, Eric, y'all aren't welcome at my house to share my cookies. You're not welcome here. Okay. <laughs> Wet wipe the mic. Y'all uh, aren't welcome here. Uh-huh. Just so you know. Now, I don't usually check mine until they're at least halfway done because I don't want them to deflate. I don't know if that's a real thing. It is with cakes. So I do the same thing with cookies. How much time we got left on this timer? We got four minutes until the 10 minutes. Well, um, <laughs> y'all having fun? <laughs> get out of my house. I did say get out of my house. I did. We, uh, Boundaries. The boundaries start at the front door of the building. We've got, you have to get past at least one, two, three sets of security cameras in order to get to my house. So if you do come here to uh, murder me, it will be recorded. Just so we know. Did the, ch 
Did my chat freeze or did y'all stop typing? Sometimes this happens. I'll just refresh this page. Y'all have any weekend plans? I'm looking forward to a nice... Oh, we're, I'm going to go get ice cream tomorrow. That's going to be a hoot and a holler. Okay, yeah, recent events. Refresh this page. Y'all just... Oh, there we go. I see y'all now. I see y'all now. Yeah, sometimes it's just, it just freezes over here. Uh, Stardew Ho! Sorry for eating the dough. You know, you should really be apologizing to your body. You should really be apologizing to your body. <laughs> Ooh, playing Breath of the Wild! Taylor, why don't you get on my channel? You can finish it for me. You just stream it for me. Thank you so much, Stardew Ho. I appreciate that. Caddy Noir, the boundaries start at the state lines. The D.C. territory boundaries. That's true. Thank you so much. Uh... And Miso Mew, thank you so much for the resub. Six months. I appreciate that. Keep those skis, skis, skis going in the chat. Oh, Sparkling Wine, you're leaving to go to Yellowstone. That sounds lovely. That does sound lovely. You're getting the vaccine? That's awesome. That's awesome. I know, I should. It sounds good just send me your passwords. <laughs> Okay, I'll just text them. I'll just reply to the 34 uh, page uh, PDF. I'll just do a reply to that. All right, these have about two minutes. Oh, they're looking good. They're smelling good. I'm using all of my senses currently. Sense of smell, sense of sight. Now you want to bake them. I should tell you what you're looking for. You want them to just start browning along the edges. I like them a little crispier, so I wait till they're like more brown than less around the edges because they will continue to bake for just a few minutes when you take them out because it'll be really hot. Um, Daisy, thank you so much for the three months. Three months and a baking stream. Ding dong. I appreciate that. Keep those skis, skis, skis going in the chat. Senses of cookies. Sense of visuals. Um, most people know what a baked cookie looks like, probably. So, oh, see, a couple of mine were a little too close and they're touching. We have PDA going on inside of the, uh, inside of the, uh, of the oven. <laughs> not that, not that. I pretend I can't see the chat. What are they supposed to smell like? They smell like sugar. They really smell like hot sugar, I guess, if you think about it. They smell like sugar and chocolate. If you put molasses in it, you'll probably smell a little bit molasses. They probably smell a little bit different if you use brown sugar. Make sure your cookies are socially distanced. Make sure you're eating them socially distanced from others. Follow the CDC guidelines, I guess. Um, no, not cookie dough ice cream. It's not baked. It has raw egg and raw flour in it. Flour is a raw ingredient and you're not supposed to eat it. Thank you so much for the bits, Caddy Noir. <laughs> I appreciate that. Oh, what's that sound? The cookies? Um, mine will probably need, I'm gonna guess these need three more minutes. So I'm gonna say three more minutes. Set a timer for three minutes. <laughs> Thank you. I wonder what Google says if I say a hoo-hoo into it. I wonder how it dictates, dix, dictates that. Let's see. It says, I didn't catch that. Try again. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, uh, well, I hope y'all do all have a good weekend. I should do, what else would y'all like to see me bake? Would you, so I do make a mean blueberry, individual size blueberry crumbles. Let me get out my ramekins, not ramekins. Justin bought these on accident. Oh, if I could just reach. Okay, try not to rip the mic out. Look at these little ra ra ramekins. 
Bread would be nice to bake, but it, it's kind of like a two day ordeal. But I could try to whip up a, a recipe for some bread. The sourdough stays in the fridge overnight. <laughs> Ramekins, <laughs> Chip's hat. These are these cute little, like one serving size of blueberry crumble ramekins. I get six of them and I make six individual blueberry ramekins, put some, and then when they're done, put some vanilla ice cream on them. It's delicious. That's an interesting recipe too, because I usually don't measure the ingredients. Um, I usually eyeball it because it's just a crumble. Um, ooh, bacon a pie would be good. That would be fun. Oh no. Oh, the pumpkin roll. That was one of the first things I ever made. I think I posted about that on Instagram when I made it, but I haven't made a pumpkin roll in probably a couple years. I really only just started baking a couple years ago. And I don't, like I said, I don't consider myself a good baker. Most of the things I bake are just so that I can like really get some sugar into my, my body really fast. Even though I don't really like things that sweet. I usually tend to make things less sweet. I like citric, citrus flavors, and I like mints. Those are kind of like good. These are kind of, this is kind of the top level of like what I would call sweetness that I can tolerate. Oh no, brownies. I, I gotta say, I'm not super good at making brownies. Hey, sorry, bestie. I, I don't really like brownies. And then I always get in my head that I, I like to overcook things. I like my things to be like crispy and overcooked and brownies that really just dries them out and then they're not very good. So, I'm, brownies are not one of my specialties. Oh yeah, these are done, okay. Put on my oven mitts. Piggy hates these oven mitts. He does not like when I wear them. Yeah, brownies are just not really it for me. Okay, let's make sure we don't burn the mic cord or melt it. Oh, I might have cooked these a little too long. So now I'm going to put in the second tray. Just for probably, I'll just go ahead and do these for 13. Even though these, those ones are not as chilled as the others were. So they may not need 13 minutes. Um... Set a timer for 13 minutes, but I'm still going to do it. Okay. Y'all want to see what these look like? I guess I can put them here. This is, what is this, granite? This is one of those countertops that you can put hot things on. You can put hot things on this countertop. I'll just show you. Yummy! Yum, 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 yum. Cookie for me. Gobble, 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 gobble. Come to mama. Gip, 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 gip. <laughs> you got whisper. You can listen to them. So you see they're a little browner on the edges. They got this kind of crackly appearance on some of them. A plus. Give yourself a pat on the back if that's one of your first times baking something. Good job. And I'll let them cool for five minutes, five, ten minutes, and then we'll taste them. We'll taste it. <laughs> Click that. Yum, 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 yum. Who loves cookies? Yum, 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 yum. I gotta get a, um, I gotta get a, a video thumbnail for this too. Good job baking. Give yourself a round of applause. Piggy doesn't like these at all. They're kind of lobster claw-esque. Yeah. I did take AP cookie making in high school. <laughs> Get your holes ready because the bolt to hole situation is about to be complete. Okay? Mine won't be done for a while because I made six big ones. Okay! You followed your heart is what we can say. You followed your heart and I'm very proud of you for doing something new. Okay? Thank you so much for the bits, Katty Noir. Linnea, uh, Linnea O'Connor, make a pizza. That's a good idea because that doesn't really take that long. I don't rise the dough that much with pizza. Good idea. And thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> get those. Oh, let's get one of my mammy's plates. 
my Mammy Bird song, pass these plates. Well, she didn't know I was getting these plates. I don't think she, I don't know if Mammy Bird song ever would have known that um, sushi would have been on these plates. Mammy Bird song really only liked to bake um, beans and cornbread. But these are Mammy Bird songs Corel. Corel dishes. They've lasted, I don't know, 60 years. I don't know how old these are. And I, I really, I like them. They look kind of old fashioned, don't they? These are Corel dishes. They're really hard to break. So we'll put some on that too. I'll spatula some onto that here in a second. Yeah, this is beans and cornbread, my favorite sushi combo. Maybe we'll make sushi out of beans and cornbread next time. Your grandma has that exact set? I always remember going to Mammy and Gram Mammy and Pappy's. We had, I had a grandma and grandpa and a Mammy and Pappy. And um, Mammy always had cornbread in the oven and beans on the stove. And we always had beans and cornbread on these plates. I don't know if she, she would have probably thought sushi was an exotic food, <laughs> I imagine. So uh, I don't think she ever would have imagined that sushi would have been on her, her Corel dishes. I don't know if she, I don't, she didn't really intend for me to have them either. My parents just got them after she passed away and um, I took them with me when I moved. They gave them to me. Corel was the big thing back then. It's still pretty big today, isn't it? Um, my pappy would always, he had a wood shop in the back and he would cut us up like um, out of scrap wood. He would make like swords for like us to play medieval or us to play like Skyrim. Skyrim didn't exist back then, but we pretended that we were like Skyrim. I know my Arkansas is showing. And we would wrap the handles with like colorful electrical tape. Yes, hey Italian Gamer Joe, we are baking. We're almost done. Our first tray of cookies is already out. Let's see if I can scoop some onto this plate. You know what I like to do sometimes. Ooh, sometimes I'm bad. And I like to eat them when they're still really soft and gooey. Oh, we're getting bad on this Friday. We're going to be bad. So I'll put a couple on this tray. Oh, yeah, these are pretty good. You can also check the bottom. Sometimes if the bottom is too pale, that's perfect. That's perfect. If the bottom is too pale, sometimes I'll put them back in the oven. But that's perfect. Oh, that's going to be ooey gooey. Let's break this. I'm going to be bad. Okay, let's see. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. That's the perfect chocolate. Oh, did you see that? That's good. It's, it's a little hot. Oh, I'll burn the top of my mouth with these for sure. These are so good. I mean, and it's really whatever you want them to be. Look at this. Look at this slops. That's a cookie. That's a good cookie. And so uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll put up the VOD of this as well. Uh, I'll help have the recipe yeah, in the description. And oh, I'll show the bottoms too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the bottoms are browner than the top. I like them to be just a little bit crispy and a little bit hard. So you can see they're a little bit darker than the top. Um, you can make them darker. You can make them lighter. Great question, Taylor. I appreciate Hey, Piggy. Well, look who showed up now that the cookies are out of the oven. And he cannot have any because chocolate is not good for dogs. Do you want to say hi, though? Hi, sweetie bear. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> My little, oh, Chef's Apprentice. Little Angel, Piggy. Oh my goodness, who just woke up from a nap? I know. <laughs> I love you. I'll be out there in a little bit. You good boy. You good boy. 
What a blessing. That's what the people want. I, that's what I want. Um, yeah, these are really a choose your own adventure situation. You can make, this is very basic cookie recipe. You can make these chewier, you can make these thinner, crispier. This is how exactly how I like it. Again, I use the full 200 grams of flour. If you chill them longer, they will be firmer. They will hold their shape more in the oven. Um, but I only chilled mine for 30, 20 minutes. We chilled for 20 minutes today. So if you chill them longer, you know, the, they will turn out different. But the more you bake them, the more you discover things about your oven and the, how you like your cookies, you will figure out how you really like to make these. This is the, the ingredients I put in, the amounts, are how I like to make them. So, um, hey Brewster wins. So really, you do, you can do these cookies however you want. They're really hard to mess up. And that's not a dig if you did mess them up because you should be proud of yourself for doing something, for doing a bake along stream. Something you didn't expect to do on this Friday. How long do you bake again? Good question. Usually like 10 to 15 minutes. You really do have to keep checking these because depending on how much flour you put in, how much sugar, they will bake differently. But yeah, 10 to 15 minutes. What really sold me on this recipe when I first started making them was the melted butter because the melted butter saves me from creaming together the butter and the sugar because I don't always want to use this. I just want something fast. Um, and it's, it's less dishes to do. I don't separate the ingredients into dry ingredients, wet ingredients. Bye, me, so me. I'm glad you got to be here. Um, it's one bowl, one hole, hole of your choice. Oh, and that's a delicious cookie, right there. Mm-hmm. Let's see. These have, I would estimate, five minutes or so. Three and a half minutes. Okay. One bowl, one whole. I hate creaming butter too. I really do. Yes, I never, I never remember to take the butter out of the fridge. I am definitely one of those people. Um, not put them in your ears. That's probably not where you should be putting them. Let's do some more close-ups. Now they're a little bit more cooled. It's not going to be as like... Oh, but look at that. That's a good cookie right there. It's still a little bit melty. Oh, that's a good cookie. And you can use any kind of chocolate chips, like I said. You can mix and match um, milk chocolate with dark chocolate, with semi-sweet chocolate. Um, let's see. Was there anything that was unclear? In conclusion, what kind of stove do we have? I don't even... Oh, it's a GE. It came with the place. I think eventually we're going to get a new stove. <gasps> Is that a guest? Oh my gosh, are you going to try the cookies? Maybe. Oh my gosh, we have a live taste test. Live taste test on camera. Now, Justin is here. My husband is here. Not enough ants. <laughs> taste one of the delicious bowl to whole cookies. Ooh, Ooh so good. Mm. Have you been? Out? It's like you get to, Oh, that sounds like you're eating glass. That sounds like you're crunching on glass. <laughs> you wanna say Where hi? Am I? You're right oh my there. God. This is my this is my COVID work. Thing. He's got his shorts on with his button up. He's got his uh, stay at home work outfit on. His Zoom call work outfit. And Piggy's in here. The whole family's in here. Mm -hmm. Cooking can be a fun thing for the family. That's the uh, that's the catchphrase of the whole thing. You can have more if you want. There's the whole tray. Good. Yeah, they are good, and it's right of you to say that. <laughs> family cooking show. Yeah, they said you're an ASM artist. ASMR? Mm. You did the glass crunching sound? You could do a eating glass ASMR video. I do sound effects. Like a helicopter comes. <laughs> I'm gonna fly away. 
The helicopter says I'm gonna fly away. Mm -hmm. How could you know for sure it's a helicopter? Oh, okay. Very on the nose mm -hmm. thinking. Not, not for this. Their uh, sound effects not for the subtle. You just got shot by a gun, me. Wow, the gun even addresses itself, talks to you about itself in third person. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's great. Yep. And I think that's great. Okay. Take as many as you want. All Take that, as many as you too. want. Oh, Justin loves the cookies. There's your independent review. <laughs> not that he's a, not that he's allowed to say otherwise on camera. <laughs> but he loves the cookies. Cooking for the whole family. That's just so great for me. Oh, what's that now? Cookies in the oven. <laughs> oh shit, I got a clear space for him. Hold on. We'll move this over here. Move this over here. Move this tray over here. Okay. Oh yeah, those are great. So my oven, if I'm cooking one tray, apparently 13 minutes is pretty darn good. I might even do 12 too. Those might be a little overdone. Ooh, let's get some more of these. Oh, look, this one had a lot of chocolate. This is one from the cool tray. A lot of chocolate chips. Bold to wholesome. Now here's my favorite part. Now here comes the whole part. <laughs> you thought I was gonna do something else. You thought I was gonna do something else. Get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> Man catching cookies. Sometimes I eat them like this. <laughs> mm. <laughs> that is not sexy. Uh oh, that's not sexy. <laughs> uh oh, uh oh, that's not sexy. I won't fall on the stream. It's a very sturdy stool. It's a very sturdy stool. Justin is a paid actor. Lynn O'Connor, thank you so much, by the way. Justin is an ASM artist. It's true. I feel like I have chocolate all in my teeth. Those are good. Um, Miss Sari, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Caddy Noir, thank you so much. Your half moon... Shapes have started to freeze to- Oh yeah, these aren't cookie cutter. You really shouldn't use this recipe to make shapes because they will not hold. <laughs> but good creativity! Creativity in the kitchen, we love that! This is going to be on YouTube. This is going to be on YouTube. It sure is. Um, oh, because I did the thing. Pretend I didn't do it. That's just how I eat cookies sometimes. Sometimes I just like to arch my back and have a cookie in the kitchen on a stool. <laughs> Caddy Noir, thank you so much. And Miss Laurie again, thank you both so much. I appreciate that. <laughs> I wore jeans today. When I did my test run of this yesterday, I was wearing um, some short shorts. You can't even really see my legs. But when I was wearing the apron, it kind of looked like I wasn't wearing anything under the apron. Which, whatever, who cares? That's fine. Um, Piggy's sniffing around because he's hoping I'm dropping something, but I'm being very careful to not drop anything. That's not in your diet, Piggy. Definitely not chocolate and cookies. Uh, so there you have it. The infamous, what we've been talking about for years, bowl to hole chocolate chip cookies. Makes approximately 24 cookies. Um, Brewster Wins, thank you for extending your subscription. I appreciate that so much. Keep those goods, goods, goods going in the chat. And uh, thank y'all all for being here. I guess I'll end the stream. We've got, what is that about? We were, it was almost two hours, like an hour and a half ish. Yes, 24 cookies, 24 minutes. A little bit more than 24 minutes. <laughs> um, I really enjoyed doing this. Thank y'all for, uh, you know, Getting the pickle point goal. This was a hoot. This is, I feel like this is a moment in history. This was a hoot and a holler. Um, Monday, I guess we'll be starting a new Nancy Drew game, perhaps. 
Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe we'll play some Resident Evil 8. And if y'all have suggestions for more baking streams, feel free to let me know uh, in the chat, on Twitter, YouTube comments, whatever. Uh, but otherwise, thank y'all so much for watching. I hope y'all have a lovely weekend. Let me make sure I'm ready to end the stream so that we're not here awkwardly for 20 minutes while I try to click something. Thank y'all so much for being here for the first ever baking stream. Thanks for all the subs, the bits, the, the subs, gift subs, bits, and donations. Y'all are amazing, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are the reason I get to continue making streams and doing cool stuff like this. Um, yeah, if you made the cookies, send me a picture. Let me know what you think of them, if you enjoy them, or if, if you hate them, that's okay too, but you did something cool today. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Love you all so much. I will see y'all on Monday. Bye, y'all. Bye.